And look, I think not all finance brokers are equal. I think uh, slowly over time, the you know the cowboys of the industry uh, industry are, are being uh, weeded out, and the regulation is 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 helping with that. But also, I just think that now everything's moving towards more a higher level of transparency. So, unfortunately, when people usually figure out they're being ripped off, it's most of the time it's too late. And from um, you know, and so they've signed on to the contract and, and things like that, which might be unfair terms or maybe not necessarily unfair, but not necessarily the, the best terms they could have achieved. So what we typically do in a situation where a client approaches us and says, hey, look, I've signed the contract with the dealership. The dealership's finance is, is you know, I thought it was competitive, but upon doing research, you know, it looks like I, I got stung or, you know, I spoke to my other broker and they put me into this loan product. Um, and so there's two parts of this. One is understanding, the, I guess, the red flags. And, and two is uh, understanding uh, why they might have put you into that loan product. Yeah. There's a bit more we could go into as to, um, you know, just how to avoid that. But so I think like if you're a customer and, you know, maybe you, you feel like you didn't shop around, you just went for anything that was quick and easy, um, usually quick and easy, not all the time, but doesn't necessarily align with the most competitive, well thought out, well researched loan options. So in the case of a, a car, you know, there's impulse buys that occur, you know, you drive into a dealership, you fall in love with this car and you just want it as soon as possible. And so the, the dealership has a point of leverage there where you, you just want it fast. And so typically they would only have one or two access to one or two lenders, some cases a little bit more but you're not gonna get the same level of um, due diligence. Now, a broker is uh, employed um, by you or engaged by you and, uh, you know, and they're meant to um, have your best interests at heart. Of course, there are outliers where, you know, brokers don't do that, unfortunately. Uh, but I would say that those people are the exception, not the rule. And so the broker is meant to find the best deal across a larger panel of lenders, typically, an average broker would have, you know, 25 to 30 lenders. You know, uh, a broker that's got a, a really diverse skill set probably has a lot more than that. We have more than 75 lenders on our panel. So, from my point of view, and that's growing. So, you know, every time a new entrant pops up or has a, you know, a really good niche that they're looking to lend into, uh, we'll, we'll we'll do that. So that's one part. They don't have enough lenders, so there's no way that you could possibly get a guarantee that you're getting the best deal. Typically, more competition um, means a more competitive deal. So if you, you've only got two or three lenders uh, to choose from, then you're not necessarily going to land. Um, now, you could coincidentally um, land with a really competitive deal, but chances are um, you know, that's not going to be the case. Now, why would a broker or a dealership um, put you in the wrong deal? And usually that's uh, you know, related to their financial remuneration. So, um, you know, we call them broken brokers, um, which is which is the term, you know, we've created a bunch of villainous characters on our website that people can check out. And uh, and that basically flags all of the, the things to look for, um, you know, so, you know, the, the big banks with the lack of choice and, you know, the, the loyalty tax and all the rest of it. Uh, and then you've got the broken brokers and uh, the, the slick Joes at the car dealerships. And then you've got the predatory style loans like the um, payday lender, uh, smaller, typically smaller, but I, I see some of those entrants um, expanding into larger and larger loans slowly over time. So yeah, um, so they get pay commission for, um, for settling a loan. Um, the thing is they might choose a lender that pays them more commission and so if that means that it's coming at your expense, they're choosing a lending product that isn't necessarily the best for you, it's the best for them. And that's really unfortunate. Um, our technology was designed to completely remove that. 